Sunbrand Medical School, suffered as a rule. Four quarter corpses to nice sex. When our neighbour died, had to try. Dropped on the stiff for a couple of quid. Student cunts are a greedy bunch. Natural deaths can't meet demand. Elderly and ill, the long for the world. We We're going to need a bigger boat. We've, uh, our hire van is not sufficient for our needs. Partly because we have an extra person. Partly because it's smaller than the one we had last time. We've got to fit a drum kit and merch. And Fear, who Fear's put on a lot of weight recently, so and a lot of height. So. Welcome to the Beast. Um, Andy thought the last one was too small. Um, he didn't want to be seen driving it, so we're on this. And he could find an egg on that bonnet. Mm. An ostrich egg. It's mostly handy because it's starving. Uh, the first time that we drove in America, last time we were on tour here, uh, we managed to get pulled over within 10 minutes of leaving the car thing. So uh, we're going to find out if... Because of the number of files on your media device, Ooh, some so... speech commands are not available for this device. Okay, I don't know what's happening, the computer's talking to me. How excited Ooh. is Jez about this? Uh, I want to see how excited... Yeah. Thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> the fingerless children! Under the We're here. Uh, we've got to get to here. Okay. Which really yeah. is only it's only that far. And the cars loads be in there. Loads be in there. <laughs> was it not possible that her husband also might say these things to her even yet? She was bound to take Mark, care of herself on the chance of it. Yes. Mark? Mark, I feel a sort of uh, ennui. I don't know if it's a midlife <laughs> crisis or, you know, if it's just a post tour come down. What would you suggest I do, Mark? I could go to my GP or I could just ask you. <laughs> she was bound to take care of herself on the chance of it and keep off these casual lovers. To this end, Tess resolved to run no further risks from her appearance. The fingerless children cowering under the loom. America's full, yeah, apart yeah, from yeah. over there. Yeah. I fucking love seeing a train. Is your friend up? There. Should we welcome the men that will not be black or nothing? So can we park here like we did last time? I guess so. So, we're in a bar, right? Yeah, uh, Andy ordered himself some cheesy chips, as you do. Chips. Loved a bit of cheesy chips. Um, so, Andy, show them the cheesy chips you got. Uh, that's a crisp. <laughs> that's, that's a fucking crisp. crisp. That's crisp. America, it's though... Cheese. It's cheesy, you can dip it in, but it's not bad here. Whatever you hoid on Netflix or true crime, they didn't do nothing. They did nothing. The whole town's got it in for these guys. It went up all the way up to the mayor. The district the tiny. They did do these guys didn't do nothing. They didn't do nothing. I don't care what you hide. They didn't do nothing. The whole town's got it in for these guys. The whole town's got it in for them. These guys. Can we just stay for a little bit? <laughs> Come on. Can we just stay with them, please? <laughs> Look 
<laughs> so we'll pick her up tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> Just give us a call. <laughs> Just as long as this, don't leave her in a hot car and just put some water out for her. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> Welcome to, to Madness! Uh, I don't like it! Shall we jump? I don't like it very much! <laughs> Hello, Cleveland. We're in Michigan and it's fucking glorious. Turned out nice. It's uh, got to be 20, got to be at least 20, I reckon. 20 what? 20, 21. <laughs> <laughs> Coming on, eh? Look, it's you, that is. See? Uh, it's fucking hot, isn't it? Can't see it anymore. Where is it? Oh, yeah. I'll now. Oh, no, it's fucking massive. I've made a friend. Uh -huh. Seems nice enough. <laughs> is I don't get it. Elvis isn't even from Michigan. What are you doing here? Go to your place called Hell. There's a highway that goes there. According to that. What are you looking at? I'm trying to find a hell. So it says M12. If you put M12, you end up in. Yeah. Near Ann Arbor. I didn't think it was that bad. We need to ask people how, to go to, how we go to Hell. We should ask Chris Rear. Yeah, how I see this. They all know, but. Facing State. Because of its location in the heart of the Upper Great Lakes, Michigan has been a historic crossroads. Its waterways and trails were favourite routes of Indians many centuries ago. It in 1837. Are we just putting his rubbish up? <laughs> it's like that video of it's like that video of Bigfoot. Jez has got a stroke. You're right, Jez. No. <laughs> he's, got a ra he's got a rash all on his back because he's too hot. He's setting off me eczema. <laughs> you went scouse there. Um. I'm too sexy for your party. Too sexy for your party. The way I'm just going to sing. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that would have been good. <laughs> I thought I looked very up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like saying, I like this. not Hello! <laughs> Greetings! My name is Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez, Chief Metallurgist to King Charles of Spain. I'm at your service. <laughs> it's a really good Sean Connery! Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's a really good, it's a really good Sean Connery! Ships in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> it's funny who you meet in the middle of a lobby, isn't it? <laughs> in a hotel in Detroit. <laughs> who knew? Hi, uh, we're in the venue in uh, Motor City SteamCon, and as you can see, 
I mean, as it looks now, you know, a sort of soulless corporate hotel, you know, the sort of thing you might have a team building exercise for your company. But later on, right, it's gonna look exactly the same because they brought no stage lighting. So we're playing in this room currently with no, we could turn all the lights off and light ourselves using our phones. Um, or, you know, we'll see. We're, we're, we're seeing what we can do. But meanwhile, this is as punk <laughs> as the gig gets. Maybe we could use the uh, glow in the dark t-shirts. We could totally use the glow in the dark t-shirts. Get people to go outside and charge them up against the lights and then come in and flounce. Oh, that thing there is a firefly and we haven't got any lights tonight. So we're hoping to put it in a jar and sort of rattle it around a bit, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure? Are you are you sure I'm that this is a, sure. that it's going to light up the whole stage? Yes. No. You guarantee that? Yes. Right. I will be there to witness it. How do you feel about that? He's under pressure. He's sort of quite nonchalant, isn't he? What if he can't perform? What yeah. if he's nervous? He's got anxiety. Sisters! Sisters! We're twins! <laughs> Okay, so we um, we sorted the lighting thing out. In fact, uh, and there were some sound things, and they sorted those out too. In fact, they've been very helpful and made do and improvised with uh, not much resources, which is brilliant, amazing. Um, we have fit the snack that Frenchie and the Punk, who are the fucking amazing band we're touring with, uh, their set clashes with a free beer event, and then our set clashes with a free gin event. So let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna go get a beer. I've got my beer. I'm just gonna go and watch our friends now. Who says steampunk crowds are dwindling? Yami, yeah, I mean, do you like punk rock? <laughs> oh, you do? Well, we're doing a show in about, I mean, ooh, 45 minutes. I mean, you should come. I saw you guys last, I think it was last year. <laughs> so, and I enjoyed it, so in theory, she might. One, two, three! Just we have the only time the day we met for two. Possibly go wrong. <laughs> Nothing, we're fine. <laughs>